my regular day would be like I would just wake up quite late at like maybe even one and then I would take a shower and all that and then I would just um, go on my phone for the whole day. It was kind of boring, like I couldn't go out a lot but then like later on I started to like ride my bike just you know just exercising around that's it pretty much. I've been doing that every day. I was meant to get my rank I was meant to be ranked up to Able Cadet, but I couldn't be doing it because of the lockdown, so... I am a carer um, for my brother, and sort of juggling stuff with him, his needs, as well as me being able to finish stuff. Um, it's sort of a trade-off, really. You know, you don't have school, but you, you kind of have to look after your brother, um, which is where reality hit, you know? It was just a massive, it was still a massive shock to me, the fact that I, 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 could, I went from, you know, a class of 30 to staying at home for six months. During lockdown for Virtual Sea Cadets, I did the, my, the first aid intermediate booklet and I did a meteorology course, as well as participating in the parade at night. I also did maths at sea and writing at sea, which helped with academic, the, uh, my school, and this meant that I, that work was easier. So during Virtual Sea Cadets, I attended many of our evenings uh, that we hosted as a unit, which was very nice. We came together to like celebrate people's achievements over lockdown and just to see each other again and catch up. I also started my navigation intermediate course, which has been, it's been quite interesting doing it at home, uh, which has been a good experience to learn new things. Yeah, uh, the online stuff is, is has helped and has really just done a mass had a massive impact on where I'm going. I did my level three um, mechanical engineering, which isn't an outsider's qualification yet, but can progress to a an, to an outside qualification. I got to plan and teach two lessons to some younger cadets, which was a first. And it was a really unique experience to be able to do it over a virtual lesson as well. And I'm, I'm really glad that I did get that opportunity because it also showed me that it was a lot harder to do it over a, a computer screen. But it still gave me that experience. It gave me some more confidence through that. I like to think I'm very independent, but I depend on people being there for me. And a lot of my friends are in Sea Cadets and it really did kind of help the fact that I did have those friends who had the same mindset as me, who kind of thought the same way as me, um, to have those people just having a message sent to me saying, oh, I'm, I'm still here for you, you know, do you want to call or something? Just having that connection with people. I still um, felt connected because we were all there generally and it was quite fun and it gave me something to look forward to during the weekdays. Come back to Sea Cadets is really nice actually because since we've been so long in lockdown it's also nice to see all my friends. I was like very happy because like I actually get to do something for once and actually see my friends again. So yeah, I, I felt satisfied afterwards. As we went back into the unit again, we were able to do loads of activities and we got to talk to each other again and like really properly and I feel like it was a lot closer at the unit than it was virtually. I'm happy to be back because of meeting, seeing my friends again and well just talking to them and doing activities like learning online is quite hard and coming back here is just makes it feel much better. When I came back I was a bit like different, I, it felt really weird to be back on a boat because I haven't been on for a couple months and it was really weird going back but I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I'm pretty confident coming back to the unit. I know that everyone here will be safe. Our unit has put in loads of great precautions to keep everyone safe. And so I know that as long as we keep staying safe, keeping our distance, wearing our masks, we can keep everyone safe. And I don't feel worried about that. You, you can't have too much of a good thing. You know, how, how good it is to be in person with people and meeting people, even though they might be quite far away, making that effort because there's still so many things in Sea Cadets. I've, I've been in for so long, but there's still so many things that I haven't done 
and I would really like to do. Um, it just all depends on what happens really in the future. Um, but getting back to the unit, you know, two steps forward, one step out is still one step forward. So, you know, that, that's coming back to the unit. You know, we're still social distance, but we're still back at the unit. So, that's that's it. I, I can't I, I can't really explain that any anymore. But being at the unit is it, it's good. It is really good.